Hey Bayek, it's me Ian, and in today's video, I'm looking at this. This is, well, my continuing series of Hammer House of Horror TV series. Oh yes, from 1980. And this is episode four, Growing Pains, which was transmitted on the 4th of October, 1980 on ITV. Yes, it's written by Nicholas Palmer, who was the writer and um, producer of so many different TV series mm -hmm. and miniseries and films. Um, yeah, and it's 53 minutes long. Yeah, I've got to get that in. Uh, it's directed by Francis uh, Megahy. Um, he was involved in films like Freelance 1970, the Great Riviera Bank Robbery, 1979, and lots of TV series, including uh, Lovejoy and Minder. Um, then we've got Barbara Kellerman playing Laurie Morton. She was in a film that I really enjoy and have in my collection, which was Satan's Slave, 1976, which starred Michael Goff, yes. Also, she was in, here we go, uh, The Sea Wolves, 1980, the Roger Moore film, yes. And also, The Monster Club, oh yes, with Vincent Price from 1981, wow. Then we've got Gary Bond playing Terence Morton. Now he, he was in Zulu, wow, I got excited, Zulu, 1964, what a film. Then he was in... Anne of the Thousand Days from 1969, which is an amazing um, historical drama, as they were of that period. And then he was in Wake in Fright from 1971, which had Donald Pleasance. Wow, he played opposite Donald, Donald Pleasance. Oh, yes. Okay, wonderful. And then you can say lots of TV series. Then we've got Norman Beaton playing Mr. Njengo. Uh, he's just amazing amount of TV series, TV films. Yeah, fantastic. Then we've got uh, Tariq Yunus playing Charles Hostin. Um, again, he's, uh, he's uh, an Indian... Um, born uh, actor lots of tv series is. and bollywood <laughs> yes bollywood we've got that in there as well who would believe we'd have that <laughs> yes bollywood then we have got uh matthew blackstand playing james and he's very good he's he's one of the boys in this film child actor um uh, excellent um he was in Young Sherlock Holmes from 1985. Wow, that's a, that's a great Young Sherlock Holmes. And he was in The Chain from 1985 as well. Um, excellent. And then we've got Christopher Riley as William. Um, just lots of TV series. As, yes, excellent. Then we've got... Um, Jeffrey Beavers, uh, he plays the grave digger. Um, and he was in um, Fragile, 2005. Yes, his, his career steps goes right back, but he started to get into a lot more sort of in his later career in sort of films. Um, like, say, Fragile, 2005, Cass. Uh, 2008, which I remember is about um, this uh, adopted um, black lad who becomes a well-known football um, hooligan. Uh, well, he was classed as that, as a leader in um, one of these football firms. And yeah, that's a very interesting film. He was involved in that. 
and also Clash of the Titans. Uh, I think that was the remake. Um, they've done of that. Was involved in that, and well, Legend. Oh yes, I love Legend. You know that's the one about the um, Craze Twins. It's a great film, and that was from two thousand and fifteen. Wow, um, what can I say? Is involved in that, but yeah, great, <laughs> fantastic. And then we have got Daphne Anderson playing the matron. Um, now she um goes right back, and two films that I pick out are the classic Hobson's Choice from nineteen fifty five. Fifty four. That is an absolute British classic, as they say. You know, you gotta have your British classics. And here we are. We've got um, a Hammer Link. Yes, Captain Clegg from nineteen sixty two. That's the sort of swashbuckling adventure kind of with Peter Cushion. Yes, I reviewed that on the channel. I I love that. It's it's that Hammer period, 1962. It's not a gothic horror, but it's a great adventure. It really is. Um, love that. Um, anyhow, I'm going off track a bit. Uh, she was in that. Uh, of, <laughs> yes, amongst all these wonderful actors. Ooh, are just great quality. Um, now, um, I always uh, have mentioned the um, location um, of these, the way they're filmed. And this um, has a great location. Um, Northcott Court. Oh, I sounded a bit posh there. In Dudswell in um, Berkhamsted, Hertfordshire. How did I manage to say that? But I did. Um, which is used quite extensively in this. Um, and that was one of the great locations. Of course, always the locations enhance all these well-produced um, productions. And this series is very well-produced. The locations is spot on. And here it is in the film. And they, and it, it always looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It does the way they, they are fantastic. That's what one thing you can say about the whole series, how good it looks. Yeah, it's me rambling on there. Yes, now, what is it about? Ah, that's what you're saying. Get on with it, lad. Well, after the death of their son, who accidentally dies, going into his father's lab, tasting some of this stuff that he's experimenting with on various animals, and he dies. Yes, he dies. That's one of the opening scenes we see. And they, this family, the, the mother, who's a, a diplomat, uh, Laurie Morton, and, of course, their husband, and the husband, who is the scientist, Terence Morton, decide to have another child and adopt a child. And they adopt James and James right from the very moment you know things are not quite right he's he's the kind of child that has a certain creepiness to him even though you know he's there uh, he's got that and um, this develops throughout even though he's kind of, kind of an innocent creepiness if you could have such a thing but as soon as he makes his appearance in their lives, from the real moment she takes him home, things start to go weird. And this is how it all progresses. Yes, we see the family, in a way, falling apart because of all these weird things that start to happen. Now, I I don't want to give away a lot of the things because it, it really spoils it, but that atmosphere you get from this story is very, very creepy. And also I think it takes sort of quite unexpected turns as well. And, um, and the ending is kind of, 
it's almost it's quite a satisfying ending even though it's, it's not a good outcome for some <laughs> but um it is uh, quite a satisfying ending and I, I rather like that about it it leaves you thinking oh you know um i can see that now why it's happened yeah you you understand it a lot and maybe james isn't as creepy and more innocent than you realize um yes i think that's the basis and a good story like these are um they always make you wondering all the time you're still speculating in your mind about it and that's what i loved about this story the fact that you were thinking oh yes and i loved it uh, this is what the beauty of all these um episodes is and this one is a good example um and it's you know it just adds to the enjoyment when you're watching it having that kind of speculation going on in your mind I love it. Um, I do. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't want to. I'd like to say more, but I don't want to give it anything away. And um, because I think it, it spoils it if you've not seen this, you know. Yes. Um, so I'll just, as usual, uh, show you. Here it is. Yes, you're ready. There it is. The wonderful thirteen episodes contained on this network. Um, release on blu-ray it is fantastic oh look look at that just look at it but there it is we'll be continuing yes next week with more of these episodes so if you're new to the channel please subscribe and um we'll let you know uh, when i actually um produce these videos and you can also look in a playlist and see what you think of don't think i don't know you may like it you may not but if you do actually like this video please give it a like because it's good for the channel he says it puts it out um that other people might see it and think oh i'll try that or perhaps they won't and they might like it but please that that's what it does it does it helps it says algorithms also if you've got any um comments Please put your comments down. I'd love to read what you think about it. It's it's really good. And I think that's it, really. Oh, and it all costs notes. I have to get that bit in. Hey, my bank, it costs notes. You can't see it better than that, can they? You can't. So, that's it. All I've got to say is, I'll see thee. I'll see thee again.